here, my dama mía, pero... One of my favorite things is pana. I love pana. I freaking love pana. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys, for my New Jersey people, because I know I have people they watch me from Jersey City and North as well. You can actually find pana in Perth Amboy. There's a farmer's market in Perth Amboy right on Smith Street, and once in a while they'll have pana, but they never know when it's coming in. So it's random, right? You have to go in there and be like, hey, you got pana today? And then if they have pana, they go get it for you. So um, sometimes when I know that Big Papa is going to be in Perth and I always tell him, babe, please go see if they have Pana because he loves Pana too. But he doesn't love Pana as much as I love Pana like I love Pana. We went to Puerto Rico. So the first thing that I looked for the first day that we went out to eat in my favorite restaurant is Cidra. <laughs> My dad knows I love Pana, so when he knows that we're going to Puerto Rico, he always makes sure he starts freezing Pana. And honey, this in my house is like gold. Like, I don't even know if I want to make all this Pana, but one thing that I'll tell you, and it's in one of the videos when we were in Puerto Rico the next morning, I'll rewarm the Pana up and have it with fried eggs in the morning for breakfast. Like, Pana and fried eggs the next morning, the bomb! delicious so today we're going to be making pana pana is like plantain um yeah it's like a plantain you make it the same way it's green and round um almost the size of a coconut sometimes a little bigger if you get lucky but my dad what he does is he cooks he um he'll you know cut it up and cook it a little for me and then I bring it here and then I finish it up so this is on one of the bags we're gonna take a pana this is it um, we're gonna fry it just like we do a plantain allow it to cool down a little bit and then we're gonna smash it in the totonera which is I should have took it out but I'll show you guys and then just like a plantain then you refry it and it's ready it's freaking delicious so we're gonna have this today with the ajo with wedges that I'm making, which you guys will have um, a see a video. I'll link it on the top with the fry flounder um, that I'm making. I also will link a video to that as well. All right, guys. So let's start making. La, 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 la. Hey guys, this is my oil. I fried French fries earlier for breakfast for the kids because the best breakfast is french fries and fried eggs. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start adding my pana.
I'm frying the panna at a medium to high heat and I'm just going to fry them so they're a little brown like this one just now. when they start getting golden brown you can start pulling them out of the oil I put them on a plate with um with two napkins so that it can suck up the oil let these cook up a little more and I'm gonna fry the rest. So we're gonna take the pan now, we're gonna put it in the middle of the totonera, like so, like a plantain, and voila, we have a toton de pana. Pana frita. Coming up, people. I'm gonna smash, and I'm just gonna put them on this plate, because we gotta refry them. So let's start smashing. And after you fry the panas, allow them to cool down and then start smashing them. They're easy to handle and for me, they're better to, um, to crush. You can't let that go to waste. Oh my God, it's so good. Smash, smash, smash. So guys, so here is the panna. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, I had three pieces of panna already. I can't resist, like I cannot wait for it to go on my plate. I'm addicted to panna. I am so freaking good. Guys, if you never had panna and you travel to Puerto Rico, have some panna. Leftover panna, save it. Have it in the morning with some huevo frito with some fried eggs. Um, for those who use who are in the Jersey area and around the Perth and Boy area like I am, go check out their farmer's market. They have a big, beautiful farmer's market. And ask, when, as soon as you go in there, ask if they have pana. I normally, I ask if they have pana, do they know when it's coming in? If they have it, they have it, and they always bless me, but they never know when it's coming in. All right, guys, so pick up some pana. If not, Please find somewhere to buy it that's already cooked in May. It's delicious and give it a try. 
Thank you so much for watching the Simply Nana. We're crafting, cooking, and sasso. My loves to the next video. God bless. Happy Sunday. Eat good, 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 good. And to the next video, my guys. Love you guys. God bless.